Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 10th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trading. So the link is down below, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So there's a lot of action in the markets today, uh, mainly due to the appreciation of the US dollar, uh, the Brexit talks in, the, in Europe, and also stimulus talk is in the United States. So both those negotiations, they will create a lot of noise in the coming days and probably also weeks. Um, and the appreciation of the US dollar, of course, has a negative effect on this currency pair. So we can see that we rallied all the way up to 13, uh, 49, 17, and then broke down quite significantly at this stage. So the question is whether or not we managed to break this level here. And I'm going to be very um, pessimistic at this moment because I don't really think that we are going to break that level uh, at this stage. If you look, just look at the technical indicators for the daily chart, they are starting to look, they are starting to look very. Um, and bearish to be very honest. The MACD is bearish, the stochastic and no, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and we also got rejected here at the uh, top of the Bollinger Band, are heading towards the 20 exponential moving average here, and our RSI is flat at this point. We're at 56, and that means that there's a lot of room to the downside. So if we look at the optimistic view, then we tested the 40 exponential uh, here on Monday, and we rallied from there. So you can say that we are trying trading between the 40 exponential and these highs. That is basically where we are trading at this point. So if we break above here, then we are going significantly higher. If we manage to break the, uh, uh, the 40 exponential, then we're heading to the 50 and probably also the 100 and so on. Um, and the reason why I say it, I don't think that we are going to break this level is because we have been here before. We have tried this before. This rally from the 150 all the way to the top here, which is a move of 6.81%. We've done that before. We did it here. So we rallied all the way up to the same level and then broke down again. We rallied up to the same level, broke down again. And this is, we did it twice here, but we did it actually also back exactly one year ago. So back in December 11th, 2019, we were exactly at the same level and then broke down. And if we go and look at the weekly chart for the, for the, um, for the Great British Pound and Euro dollar, we can see that we are just at the 300 moving average in the weekly chart. So if we can get rid of these, lines here, we can see that we are testing the 300 moving average. And we have not been trading above the 300 moving average all the way back since 2014, I think it was, yes. And basically in November 2014 was the last time we were trading above the 300 moving average. All the way since we have been trading underneath, that's six years ago. So. If we manage to break above here, start trading above here, we're basically breaking a six-year cycle in the Great British Pound US dollar. And that could also mean that we are going to significantly higher levels. We're talking about this level here of 1436, this level here at 1500, uh, zero, zero, here at 1575, and so on. There's a major, major shift in this currency pair. And this candlestick here is not looking very nice at all. If you look at the, at, the, um, at the technical indicators for the weekly chart, of course, they're not looking very bearish at this point, but the, the RSI is flat. There's no bullishness here. The same goes for the CCI. It's basically curving here and indicating that it's going to go down. And usually the MACD follows um, after, for example, the CCI and the stochastic and so on. So this is not a very encouraging sign. We most likely will head towards the 20 exponential here in the in the in the weekly chart uh, in the in the in the short run. So that is 1310. 
And um, that is most likely where we're going. If we get rejected here, if we start trading underneath the 300 moving average in the weekly chart, that is most likely where we're going. But just to say, we have been here several times before. We have been rejected at the 300 uh, before, and, and we most likely will be rejected here again. And that means that we are going to test these lower levels again. I'm not saying that we're going all the way down here like we were back in March, but probably down to these lower levels in the weekly chart. So let's look at the US um, dollar and yen. So we have rallied up towards the 40 exponential and then got rejected there. And the closer we get to the 50, the closer that we get to the 100 and this the downward channel uh, line, uh, the better is basically the opportunity to sell this. So we have been trending downwards in this channel ever since March. And every time we get to the top, we can sell. Every time we get to the bottom, it's a possible buy. So at this point, we are getting close to the upper limit of this channel. And the closer that we get, the better the opportunity is to sell. Technical indicators for this currency pair are looking fairly bullish at this point. So we may have another go at the 50. If that breaks, then we're heading towards the 100 and the upper part of the channel. And that is a definitely a sell at that point. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. As you can see, we have rallied yet again to 12.17 and again basically got rejected and we are down now nearly half a percent. Technical indicators for this currency pair look dreadful. We are overbought. The MACD is turning around, the stochastic is turning, it has, is very um, bearish at this point. We are almost at uh, underneath uh, uh, zero in the CCI, which also means that we're becoming very bearish there. And uh, at this stage, I think it's only a matter of time before we start um, testing the uh, 20 exponential, which at this point is at 12.01. And the question is whether or not that breaks or we head toward the 40 at 11.93. But uh, everything points to lower levels. Um, and this is probably a buying opportunity. So, of course, negotiations and stimulus talks have major um, effects on these currencies. So, so we'll most likely trade downwards, trend downwards the, the foreseeable future and then head back up. So, let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We broke all the way up to, to um, zero for uh, 74.88 and then we broke down again. At this point, I think that we are going to see this currency pair going lower. Uh, as you can see, we're significantly overbought. We're at 82. So MACD is going to cross the signal line tomorrow or on Friday. The stochastic has, the CCI is still flat. And uh, well, we are most likely going to head towards the 20 exponential moving average. And that is roughly at 0 0.73 at this stage. So it is possible to short it down here, but most likely it is a buy when you get to the 20 exponential as it has been significant support ever uh, for months now. So a move towards the 20 exponential, that is a buying opportunity to these highs. A break above here, we'll see this currency go much higher. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have rallied a little bit. And at this point, I think that we're heading towards the 20 exponential here at the 1293 uh, and that is basically a selling opportunity to these lows again and if the, this breaks then we are going significantly lower as you can see the 20 and the 40 have been, been very uh, resistant uh, a major resistant in the past and they most likely will also be in the coming days but these technical indicators are pointing to higher levels we are significantly oversold so expect this to rally. And uh, if we get to the 50 moving average, that is definitely a sell for this currency pair. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.